back to Metal World TV, where the underground meets the playground. I'm Jeff Rappaport, and you are? My name is Ola. Right. Full-blown? Full-blown chaos. All right, yes sir. Now, you guys refer to your band as Argument Corps. Argument Corps. Well, is that, I was wondering if that's because the death metal kids can't decide if it's, de if it's are you death metal, you're hardcore, or you're arguing back and forth. Well, years ago, we got thrown out of hardcore for having too much fire in the video that we shot, but, but the metal kids never embraced us, so, because, so it's, we're just heavy. Okay, that's it. We're a heavy band. That's the only way to describe it. All right. So it, it's, and I stick by that. You know, everybody tries to, oh, well, they're this, well, they're that type of, no, we're just heavy. We're not hardcore, we're not metal. No argument. We're not like, it's, we have aspects of all, so it's we're just heavy. All right. What, what, what's a, a personal moment in your life where you've actually experienced full-blown chaos? Oh, every day. Are you kidding? That's, yeah. <laughs> It's every day. Every day is a struggle. So it's, 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 it's so. I mean, if you need like an exact example, um, yeah, every day on tour, you know, there's always something going on. There's always something band wise. There's any type of personal animosity between you know band members. You know, when you're with somebody, you live with somebody for so long. You know, especially in a band, you're in a little area. It's you end up just fighting. It's not always you know we love each other and this and that. And just not a lot of cuddling, mostly it's, fighting. No, no, mostly fighting. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, plus having brothers in the band, that makes it, that's like more volatile. It's just a weird cocktail of destruction that's yeah. bound to explode every now and then. Um, also, just, just karma, like hard. We have the worst luck in the world. This last, the last tour we did a couple years back, you know, until we started coming back, uh, we went through five vehicles in two months, right? Five vehicles, uh, trail. Uh, lost thousands of dollars, you know, and it, it crippled us, you know, so that's pretty much, we can't get more than that. Yeah, that's pretty chaotic. Yes. Now, my mother is from Queens. I was wondering, uh, what, she, what did she miss in the uh, 50 plus years since she moved back? Um, Guyanese have kind of like moved in. So, Trinis, Guyanese, all the, uh, you know, like, uh, Indian Island, you know, like this, or it's mostly... It's kind of like a more Indian. Yeah, yeah. So yeah there's lots of buffets. Yes, a lot of Indian buffets. Yeah. Delicious yeah. food, but not delicious in the morning. So, yeah, yeah. That's pretty much it. Yeah. So you're here in New Jersey. Uh, how, how do you think the New Jersey scene compares to the New York City scene? Um, well, I mean, I know there's always been a little bit of a struggle between, you know, yeah, I mean, but, but New York and New Jersey, but it's like, it's hand in hand, you know? I mean, one hand eats, one hand washes the ass, you know? Right, so you yeah. gotta fucking, you gotta separate it, it just matters which one is which. But, um, I, there's not much of a difference. There's not much, everybody is still, you know, they, they represent, they, they, they have, they have values, they respect their kind, right. you know, they have love for their state, they have love for their city. You, have, you know, it's like New Jersey hardcore is, you know, for New Jersey hardcore. New York hardcore is for right? New York hardcore. But I would say, you know, I mean, New Jersey hardcore definitely has, you know, it's always been like one's been more than the other. New Jersey hardcore definitely has a lot more love for each other. Right? Sometimes, you know, New York hardcore is like, you know, things are, you know, there's a little conflicts here and there, this right. and that, you know, somebody gets butt hurt, respect issues. Butt yeah. hurt's not good. But things happen. No, no. But, I mean, it's either way, but both, they, they interlock. You know, you can't have, you know, any bill that was a good bill, always had a Jersey band, always had a New York band. Right. That's how it was. That's how it was. It was always Jersey, New York. So it, it's, you know, peanut butter and jelly. Right. Now thinking about uh, peanut butter and jelly and fun, uh, what's your favorite food chain? My favorite food chain? Yeah. Um, are you looking at like fast food? Are you looking at any like, kind of like any grandma kind of, restaurants? Any kind, of, any kind of chain restaurant that you... Like, Cracker Barrel. Good, yeah, good choice. good choice. Cracker Barrel. Their pancakes are lined with crack. And uh, yeah, they, they, I've actually had like some hallucinogenic experiences through their pancakes. So I would say Cracker Barrel. What's the, uh, the most um, unmanly thing? Unmanly thing? Yeah. I know that 
that's female hockey. But yeah. I mean, <laughs> that's uh, I mean, I could sew. You know, every man needs to know how to sew. So, stitches. You gotta know what you're doing. So, yeah. You gotta, that's true. You gotta be on the ball for certain things. You know, a man's gotta be able to take care of himself. So if you know how to cook, you know how to clean, you know, I mean, a woman is a vessel for a seat. So, you know, and for arguments. So, okay. Now, what's, what's the worst thing you've ever done for money? Worst thing you've ever done for money? Oh, work. <laughs> yeah. Overrated. <laughs> I mean, you know, really, it's, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm pretty reserved on that. You know, I mean, I've pretty much, I've drank in some terrible things for money. You know, terrible concoctions at the bar. They're like, oh, we'll give you a hundred bucks. And blah, blah. Okay. Yeah. You yeah. know, so, yeah, that's pretty much as bad as it gets for me. Yeah. Okay. What's your favorite season? Why? Auto. Auto fall. That's because, you know, nature is in a state of dying. So, and it's just very morbid, and it's very calming, it's like it's accepting right? the sleep, it's accepting the slumber, so it's, it's nice, it's like giving up, and just the colors and everything else, it's just very serene. I like that. And uh, the, the last and the most important question I yes. have for you is, are you honored to appear on Metal Rules TV? Oh Why? yes, of course, of course. But anytime we have an opportunity to, to give our opinions in an open forum, it's a, it's a good one. It's a good thing, you know, we try, we've always been a band for the people, that's why, I mean, we had a hard time tonight getting here early, but with our jobs and with work and everything, I, I always made it a point of pride to get to the shows early, so like, meet all the fans, meet everybody, just, you know, hang out with everybody, be at the bar with everybody, partying and everything else, so it's like, anytime we get to speak our opinions, it's, you know, people learn a little bit more about us, and we get to just broaden our horizons. Okay, and the last thing is, uh, do the floor now to promote anything, the website or anything from that show? Uh, uh, there's no shows for right now, we're still in the process of booking, and we're writing, you know, things that's going to be a new record, you know, we're doing stuff. That's pretty much it, we have a lot of our solo stuff right now, but keeping the ear open, and just, you know, what's your, what's your Facebook back. page, or? Uh, just say, Blow Chaos, you know, backslash, all that weird signage, yeah. Blow Chaos, you can find us. All right. Well, Thanks a lot for your time, Dave. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks.